I suddenly realised what I'm so kind of confused by regarding my teaching, why it hasn't gone very well. It's because I've been put in a position, okay, I've put myself in that position, um, of having to know what to do, of making decisions what we're going to do. And for me, I've never had really, really had to do that in teaching. Effectively, if somebody tells me what the kids are meant to be doing, this book, that work, you know, a sheet, book, whatever it is, and I go, okay, then fine. And then I just interact with the kids and I help them through this stuff. I don't actually decide what they're meant to be doing because that's been decided. All I have to do is try and get us to be able to do it in such a way that's interesting, fun, entertaining, um, you know, and I can work on all the social stuff. And I kind of knew that this, but it was really, it's super clear now. And effectively, I have to be really, really kind of brave, okay? And I just, I just have to make decisions, right, this is what we're going to do, all right? But not really attach myself to that, okay? You know, this is some work, this is the book, this is whatever, da 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 da, this is some worksheets, whatever. Whatever effectively has been decided, okay, happens to have been by me, and I don't think I'm the right person to decide that as it happens. And I've been trying to encourage the other members of staff, oh, no, could you please have a look at this video, please? Oh, that's what I've been saying in real life, and if you are looking at this video, thanks. Because that's not what I've been doing for years. I haven't been deciding what to do, and it looks, it's a very good direction you know, for normal teachers to get more control of what it is that they wish to do and decide what to do with these kids. And I think that's a very valuable, I mean, if you've got a team of five people, you've got one or two people that are really good at that, really good at deciding what to do, okay? And they think the best kind of like path forward is, all right? And everybody should like play around with that, obviously, um, and feed back to these people. And these people are effectively leading the kind of curriculum. You kind of get what I'm saying. And maybe they interact with the kids, like they, they work with, the, like they get the top sets of all the, the top groups out of all, okay, right, okay, so I'm going to, am I going to explain a bit of structure? Oh, okay, God, why not, right? Um, if there was a classroom coordinator, okay, and if, for example, you had the three first years, uh, three year sevens coming in to the maths department, and you could say, can we have all the red groups, please, go to this classroom, can we have all the, the, the blue groups go to this classroom, and it's, it's done by ability. Okay, and each of the teachers has, you know, done tests or whatever, and they're kind of like, you know. So normally it's a mixed class, but you can, if they want to, on a day or for a specific week, you can say, can I have them by ability? And then you can distribute them. It means that, that every teacher gets to kind of experience all the different kids in different environments. And the kids themselves are used to a certain kind of class, but they can also suddenly find themselves with a, the same team, perhaps, but in another competing, perhaps, kind of semi-competing with another couple of teams in another class. And it means all the teachers get to experience the kids, kids experience all the different kinds of teachers and whole, you know, and then the classroom coordinator points out, you know, that different teachers teach in different ways and that's kind of good because they're different individuals and that's kind of nice to spot because then the kids realize that they're different and, you know, and there's some kind of like, you know, a, a mutual awareness of what's going on. Right, right, blah, 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 blah. But effectively it means that the different people in the department get to spot and effectively engage all the kids in different ways and so the ones that are quite good at making decisions about what is probably best for certain groups and so on and so forth, you know, they get to make those decisions. And there might be one or two individuals kind of more like me in the department where it's a, they don't really mind what it is that they're doing as long as they get to kind of engage the kids in certain ways and maybe point out things or how they're learning regarding math specifically, okay? And that's, you know, I could, I could fulfill that. And I tried to set that up by with my suggestions at the beginning of term. I was like... Well, okay, could somebody just point what I'm meant to do, because then I can just do it. And, or I tried to put myself in a following position, which you would have thought is quite nice. But what people think, kind of, and I suggested, and I remember specifically speaking to um, okay, a member of staff, and I said, look, it looks as if what I'm suggesting is I'm asking people to do the work. You know, they plan, they prepare, and then I just kind of do what they do. And that means they're doing all the work, you know, the preparation, two hours or something or other. And therefore, I'm just kind of like going their coattails. And if you think about it that way, you're absolutely right. And I suggested, is that the way that people, do you think that's what, and then the person says, well, hmm, yes. And so that's why I didn't suggest that. That's why I didn't keep on kind of pursuing 
trying to create that? Because I suggested a few people that it hadn't happened, and I thought, look, am I going to push this? And I specifically asked one person that's incredibly well organized, and if I say he or she, you know, give it away, um, and they kind of gave me the impression that mm, it's not going to carry this. Because people are thinking kind of a bit selfishly in a certain way. Even to the point where we're actually doing something interesting and doing something interesting with Steve regarding the class. And he's ending up, listen to this, all right? So last year he had a nightmare class, splits them up, and I end up, starting this year, with half of them. And I do quite well with them, and he takes the other half. And the dynamics are kind of okay, all right? Pretty good, actually. In both classes, they get more done, all right? And the head's kind of happy because they're better than what it was last year. But I was like, well, come on, I think it could be better. I think it could be better. Let's play some games. And they didn't really want to. Anyway, it's come to the last term, only four weeks left. And I said, come on. And the kids came up with it, really, at the end of the term. And I went, that's a good idea, because I've come up with that before. And it was to do with, you know, if you were in an environment where you could just come in and just get on with it, you know, just like solid work, would that be a good thing? Um, and then, you know, yeah, yeah, that's what some of the kids really want. So we set it up. And so we've got one class, and it happens to be Steve, because I think Steve is better for that. And he can, you know, the kids can come in and just stream in. Okay, it looks as if now he's got a lot of kids in the class. And I specifically said to him, don't let it slip. Don't let anybody start mucking about in any shape or form. And it's not a bad thing. It's not like, oh, you have to get heavy. It's just like, well, they're obviously not wanting to get on with it. So, you know, off you go to the other class. It's not, it's not a bad thing. It's no bad thing. The kids have sorted this out themselves. We're just assisting them. We're assisting them. And if a kid, for some reason or other, really works well in my class, and proves it, like a lesson after a lesson, and he said, okay, fair enough, it looks as if you should be in a better environment without any distractions, without any other people. So, why don't we go to the other class? And they go, yeah. And then they go to this class with this attitude of going there and just, and it's like, like a fuel injection engine. They just go in there and it's like, and that influences the class. That the new person coming in is just like, right, right. And they go, crikey, this is really good. Wow, this, is, this class is really, really moving. Okay. However, some people have thought, well, maybe I'm taking advantage, Steve, because he's got like more people in his class. And I've only got a few people in my class, so I'm taking it. It's not like that at all. Not at all. It's not even, it's not even. And it just stops me. It just stops me when somebody has a thought like that. A judgment. It just, I just, I just. And that's what prevented me from moving on right at the beginning of the year to try and create the conditions in the school, in the class, or in the department, where I can access... Whatever it is that the department's doing, you know, and if it's just do this big work, I'll just do this big work. If they're doing something more interesting, well, okay, could you kind of hand it to me in some form or other so that I can actually just implement it? And then by doing that, I can do the thing that I'm interested in. And I think it'd be fun. Right, so what I'm going to do, and I'm going to be really strict about this, because otherwise, what's been the point? I mean, I've just, effectively, 10 years of education, and it's going to end this year. Because I'm just, I thought I was, I thought I was actually a really good teacher. And now I'm feeling like, I'm fucking rubbish. I mean, I'm rubbish. And it's specifically deciding what to do. Kind of. And what the kids are going to, going to do. And effectively, if I just cut that out, so I just make a decision, okay, do this, all right? And then I don't attach to that, whatever it is, the book work or group work or photocopies or whatever the hell it is, game activity, it doesn't really matter. Whatever it is that's been decided by me, or hopefully by somebody else, but okay, by me, it means that I can just focus on the kids. It means also that I should say, well, what's going to happen today? I don't know. All right, what's this bit? Oh, it's a photocopy, right? How are we going to do this? Um, what's the best way of doing this? That's how I used to teach. I used to get this material and I'd go, right, what's the best way of doing this? <laughs> I'd ask the kids. And I'd say, well, maybe this, maybe that. And because we have a good relationship, why? Because I'm getting them involved in the decision making, they sort themselves out, they organize it, I help them organize it. It's fantastic. Nowhere in there is my attachment to the work that I've decided to be done. That's where it's fallen down for me. It hasn't worked. It hasn't worked. It hasn't worked. So that's what I'm going to do. So that I can not know what we're going to do. Because that's where the kids are. They don't know what we're going to do. That's the situation I want to be in too. Because it's fun. It's interesting. We don't know what we're going to do. Oh, what's this material? Oh, okay. How can we make this interesting? Oh, has anybody got a new thought about this? Oh, oh my God, look, has anybody spotted this? And I said, oh, what did you think of that? Wow, listen to this. This is amazing. And that's, that's what I do. I want to do that more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 
Right, it's midnight. Here I am. Midnight. Trying to go to bed. Oh, crikey. Right. But anyway, at least at least I worked that out. 